comprehension is made up of the ability to read words and to understand language. Language comprehension is the ability to comprehend the language that was created by those words. The simple view of reading states that reading comprehension involves both word reading and language comprehension. When we want to think about how to support children with reading comprehension difficulties, we first want to see do they have difficulties in word reading or in language comprehension. If a child has difficulties in word reading, we characterize that as dyslexia. That means that we need to provide systematic and explicit instruction in word reading, connecting letters and sounds, and teaching explicit letter patterns. If a child has difficulty in language comprehension, that's characterized as having developmental language disorder, which means that a child has difficulty in using and understanding language. To support children with developmental language disorder, often referred to as DLD, we want to explicitly and systematically teach vocabulary words and grammar and the social use of language so they can understand the language that they hear in the environment and the language that they read through text. Importantly, 30 to 50% of children with dyslexia also have developmental language disorder. This can be a bit confusing. Dyslexia is a language-based learning disability. The language skills that are most difficult for children with dyslexia revolved around sounds and sound representations and connecting letters and sounds. Children with developmental language disorder have difficulty in vocabulary in the content and use of language and grammar. The label of developmental language disorder, or DLD, is not new. These children have existed since we've studied variation in language. It is a neurodiversity that represents the lower end of children who have difficulty learning language that they hear in their environment. Children with DLD in the school systems are often identified for services through multiple different labels. So in the early childhood period, they may be identified as having a developmental delay. In preschool, they may be identified as having a speech and language impairment. In elementary school and beyond, they may be identified as having a specific learning disability and comprehension. In 2017, an international consensus was gathered to reconcile these different labels so that children could be more appropriately identified and advocated for across the lifespan. In fact, the U.S. federal government in September 2023 provided guidance that we can use the label DLD to qualify for IDEA services so there's not a need to use variable labels. We can use the same label so that children can be identified and advocated for in the school system. Right now, educators are spending a good amount of time thinking about MTSS for one side of the simple view of reading around word reading which is great. What we want to make sure is that we also have MTSS for the other side of the simple view of reading, addressing language comprehension. Ensuring that we address both sides of the simple view of reading means that we will support children who have dyslexia, children who have DLD, and children who have both dyslexia and DLD.